Hey, Bruce here with the Five Minute Handyman. I am doing some painting with a sprayer and I want to show you how I do that. So let's take a look at some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. Uh, what I've got here is a Graco airless sprayer. I've got some paint and um, what I've got so far is uh, we're putting this primer on the side of the garage. I'd, I'd switched out all of the rotten siding that was on the bottom and uh, that goes all the way around the side of the, the garage back here. We had some termite, termite action going on there. Uh, so now we need to get it all primed and it's always a good idea to prime bare wood with a, a special primer rather than using a paint that has primer in it. Um, so what I've got here is I have a shield that I'm using to protect the shingles from getting paint on them uh, on the overhang part and the goal here is to get primer to cover the wood and with the sprayer it does a real nice job I'm using a uh, 517 nozzle I believe it's what it is yep 517 so that means it's 17 thousandths in diameter the opening part is and the five means that it sprays out a 10 inch wide swath of paint. Uh, it's, all, it's double that number. So if it's a 314, it's gonna spray six inches wide and it's a 14,000 nozzle. So that's the way that the nozzles are designated. So let me set this up and I'll show you how, how this works. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to get my step stool here and take our paint shield and just push it up underneath the shingles here. Paint through here. Get good coverage. And I'll take and move this down. I'll just leave that sitting there. So now when I'm spraying the, the wall here, what I want to do is I want to keep this even distance. I don't want to go like this because here the paint will be too heavy. And then when I get down here, it'll be too light. So we always keep it parallel. And uh, with any painting, you want to use your large uh, joint motions. So if you're painting a, an edge line with a brush, um, what we want to do is we don't want to do this. We want to do this. We want to use our shoulder. Okay, so same thing with painting with a, a sprayer. And so what I'll do is I'll just start and we'll go right through it. when I'm doing this uh, it was a nice wide um, amount of paint that was being put onto the wall and I kept a uniform speed so that we get uniform paint uh, because once you when you press the trigger in a certain volume of paint comes out and if you don't keep your speed even what will happen is that you'll get areas that are going to drip and then areas that don't have full coverage and so uh, this is just the procedure we're going to use and we just keep going up and down and uh, it's pretty fun actually. The other thing that you might notice is that I am overlapping uh, about four inches, four to six inches, so that I get uh, good coverage all the way across. And if I, if I didn't do that, then I could get spots that would not be fully covered. And so we want to make sure that we get full coverage. All right, so that's why we're going to overlap just a little bit. So we'll just continue going through this. And um, that's a procedure we use. I'd uh, love to have you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any things that you'd like me to show you how to do, leave them in the comments. All right, thanks for watching.